Thank you very much. The Nigerian police. It has been amazing. And so your Excellency is distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let me now welcome His Excellency, the brand new, very meaty, smelling fresh like a rose flower, the new governor of Obi State. Please welcome here our own AU, Ahmed Ododo Osman, to please step forward and address the state. Of the Federal, Federal Republic, Republic of Nigeria, Nigeria. His, His Excellency Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, ably presented by our leader, our father, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Senator. Kashi Chetima, GCON. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, he was here with us this morning. He has a project assignment. His Excellency, the Vice President, has committed him. We need to recognize him in absentia, His Excellency. The National Chairman of our great party, His Excellency. and his National Working Committee members. My leader, my mentor, my benefactor, my tutor, my senior professional colleague, and above all, the white line of the universe the immediate past governor of Kogi State, His Excellency Alahaji Yaya Bebe O.C.O.N. The chairman of the Nigeria Governor's Forum, my elder brother and the governor of Kuala State, His Excellency Alalaji, Abraham Abdurrahman, and all other governors, both serving and past, here present. The chairman of the, the, chairman of the National Cafe Council, Ododo Jewel Governorship Election. That, that gave us this specific decree that, that we are celebrating today is no other person, it's a brother, it's a colleague, His Excellency Dr. Dabo Abiyadu, a place presented by his wonderful deputy governor and his co chairman. I want, I want to sincerely appreciate you for that, that wonderful 
National State Assignment. The Deputy Governor of Kogi State, His Excellency Mr. Joel Salifu and his dear wife. The Deputy Governor of Kassina State, the former Deputy Governor of Nanja State, my classmates, my schoolmates, and all other Deputy Governors, both serving and past present here. Let me acknowledge the Deputy Governor of Bay State. I sincerely appreciate you. The Speaker, Kogi State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uma Yusuf and you, and all the members and other members of the State House of Assembly across, from across the nation here present. The Chief Judge of Kogi State, my Lord Justice Josiah. Majibi and all other judges here present. The senators representing the three senatorial districts of our state and all other serving and past senators here present. The House of Representatives member representing the nine federal constituencies and all other serving and past House of Representatives members here present. The Minister of State Development, who was the Director General of our campaign organization, my brother, Prince Shaibu Abubakar Awu, and all other ministers, both serving and past here present. His Royal Majesty, the Okinoi of Ebilalan Saki. And Vice Chairman, Kogi State Council of Chiefs, His Royal Majesty, the Ohimeke Iku Kotokarifi, His Royal Majesty, the Obaro of Kappa, His Royal Majesty, the Emir of Kepi, His Royal Majesty, the Emir of Borobu, His Royal Majesty, Ochi of Idoma. And, and all other royal majesties and highnesses here present. Let, Let me recognize and appreciate our mother, the Ia Oloja General of Nigeria, Chief Mrs. Folashate Tinibu Ojo, our respected elder statesmen. I want to recognize all the critical stakeholders of our dead state and across the nation. nation. Let, Let me just mention a few. My brother, my uncle, Dr. Tunde Ayani, Chief Tide Omokore, Alhaji Abubakar Sanusi Kamji, Sineto Yara Muhammad, Alhaji Suleiman Kekere, Honorable Fedik Muhammad Achema, Alhaji Suleiman Baba Ali, and Barista. Halima Alpha Kabiru Gaya, I sincerely appreciate you for being part of this historic occasion and for working to see that Kogi State remain united. Let me also recognize my brother, Honorable James Abiyalu Faleke. Also, I want to recognize and appreciate our mother and sister, Madame Timbo, and her entourage. Indeed, you are a true mother and lover of the younger generation. Special recognition goes to the ICANN president, my own professional body, Dr. Innocent Iweka, and your entourage. I sincerely appreciate you. I will also recognize all my party members who contested the program with me. Your contest helped to strengthen the internal democracy in our states. I also recognize the presence of the candidates of the opposition parties 
who contested with me in that wonderful, transparent, credible, fair election. My brother, my dear brother, the governorship candidate of the uh, African Democratic Congress, right honorable Lege Abedege, this is what Senator Bola Temidu has installed in our country, replicated by His Excellency Alaji Abedegu. Politics of bitterness is over. My brother, I sincerely appreciate you. I recognize all those who sat with us in, in the administration of His Excellency Alahaji Yahabero, C-O-N. Invited guests, their viewers, all over the world, members of the fourth estate of the realm, ladies and gentlemen. Fellow guys, on um, this auspicious day, day, I stand, I stand before, before you on the solid foundation, foundation of unity, which we paved the way for the collective trust bestowed, bestowed on me to lead our dear state at this time in our history. history. I am humbled, humbled by, by the weight of expectation as I accept your mandate to build on the enviable achievement of my predecessor who have traveled this road before, before now. I thank His Excellency Governor Yahya Bello, the father of modern Kogogi State, for his unprecedented life-changing achievement in the virtual all sectors of the economy, which have now formed the solid foundation for us to build on. Your Excellency, sir, was alone and not enough or sufficient to appreciate your pivotal role you played in the course of the transition that has today formally taken off. As your governor, I do not take for granted the euphoria that greeted our victory in the last governorship election. I pray for God's guidance in delivering a viable performance that matches the good expectation of the Good people, people of the Kogi State who voted the over one million for us and our great party, the All Progressive Congress. This, for me, will be a fitting appreciation to the good people of our dear state and to His Excellency, my mentor and leader, who, along with his team, worked so hard to make today a reality. I will forget to specifically recognize and acknowledge. His Excellency Captain Idris Wada and Alahaji Ibrahim Idris, who have made invaluable contribution to the efforts leading to this significant event. History will remain kind to the two respected former governors for their respective role in shaping the affairs of our dear states. Today, we remember most profoundly our, our great leader, Father His Excellency, late Prince Abu Bakr Abu, who left in the little marks all over the new sacraments of our dear state in terms of infrastructure development and human capital development. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, may I request that we observe a moment of silence in honor of our lady leader, Prince Abu Bakr. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. Amen. In my life, four women stood for their contributions and prayers towards the realization of today's epochal event. My wife, Her Excellency, Hadia Sefina Usman, Usman. Oh, who who she has been the chief of the of the whole front, front who, who has given me so much peace and support. support. I, I thank, thank you, my dear wife. wife. Let, Let me also acknowledge my mother, mother Hadia Habibah Sami Ahmed, for her role in shaping 
my character. Special recognition go to my grandmother, late Haji Muhammad Aoudou, who preferred me and taught me the virtue of hard work, honesty, humility, and respect for the young and old. Mama, you are remembered for moving me into the character I am today. One, One of, of the greatest blessings of my life was to be blessed with, with another mother, mother. late Hadia Hawau Ojo the late mother of my mentor and leader, His Excellency Al Hadia Abelu. My mama was highly supportive, and she took me as a son. She, she prayed, prayed for me, me. And, and to have been a thing of joy if she is here today. To witness, witness the manifestation of our prayers. prayers. Mama, Mama, I will, I will not, not disappoint, disappoint you. you. Your, Your Excellencies, when, when the race for the governorship election in Kogo State was, was looking like a rising tide in, in turbulent waters, waters. There, there was only one man, man to look up to in the country. country. His, His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the President, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic, Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. Sir, we are witness for firsthand your, your conflicting commitment, commitment to a peaceful, peaceful fair, free, and, and credible election, election in Nigeria, Nigeria despite, despite your loyalty to our great party, party the All Progressive Congress. Congress. We are, we are grateful, grateful for your intervention in, in ensuring that, that the governorship election in Kogo State, State did not descend into a war of attrition by, by promoters of various political interests in this state. state. Let, Let me assure you, sir, your Excellency, that, that the government and people of Kogo State, State will remain loyal, loyal to your leadership and stay with, with you by you, you come rain, come shine, in your, in your efforts, efforts to, to transform the Nigeria, Nigeria under the new hope agenda of your administration. Your, your Excellency, Excellency, under my leadership, leadership I, want I want to state, state that, that Kogo State, state shall be one, one of, of the sub national hubs of pilot projects for key drivers, drivers of the federal government programs in food security, poverty eradication, job, job creation, access to capital, capital inclusion. inclusion. Rule, Rule of, of law, law, the fight, fight against, against corruption, corruption and, and overall economic growth, growth which, which will have a local adaptation to the realities of Kogo State. Special appreciation to our leader, our father, the, the Vice, Vice President, President of the Federal Republic, Republic of Nigeria, Nigeria His, His Excellency, Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima Gizion, for his steadfast support. Throughout the duration of the election year, you are abiding confidence in the All Progressive Congress to sustain the development in Kogo State was beautifully rewarded on November 11, 2023. I say thank you, sir. To the mother of the nation, our Amiyabu First Lady, Her Excellency, Senator Oluren Mikinu, we will not disappoint you. Your support, Your support was, was an inestimable value, value in our, our success. success. Let, Let me also comment and appreciate our, our mother, mother, the immediate past first, first lady, lady of our, our dear state, state, the man, the, man, the woman behind, behind his, his excellency. excellency. When, when his excellency is moving energetically, energetically somebody, somebody is behind, behind him. him. And, and, and there's, there's no, no any other person, person than the immediate past, past first lady, lady her, her excellency, Hadia Bebelo, Bebelo Rashida, Rashida, for leading the women folk to, to give us a resounding victory. victory. Kogo State and, and the entire people are appreciating you. you. At, At this, this point, point let, let me commend the leadership of the, the All Progressive Congress, Congress particularly, particularly the National Working Committee, Committee under our, our ever capable national chairman, his, his excellency, excellency 
Dr. Abdullah Imam al and in the third chapter of our great party, Ebelelet, by Al-Hadi Abdullah Ibelo, for their doggedness and unwavering commitment to ensuring that our party emerged victoriously victorious in the November 11 governorship election. The APC National Campaign Council for the dual governorship election, led by His Excellency, my brother, my senior brother, Governor Dabo, with support from my elder brother, Governor, Your Excellency, Governor Abraham Abdelak, Governor Abadjade Sarawolu, Governor Wabasani, Governor Mohamed Umar Bagu, Governor Haisen Alia, and Governor Abdullah Hissouli. All of who, all of who work closely with the State Campaign Council under the Honorary Minister of State Development, Prince Shaib Abubakar, and all members of the community, including the various support group within and outside the state, to make our party victorious. Let me also commend the Independent National Electoral Commission, security agencies, and other critical stakeholders security agencies and other critical stakeholders for ensuring a peaceful, free, fair, and transparent election in Kogu State. Please, I beg for your pardon. You know it's not easy. His Excellency told me that this cup is not heavy, but I can see it's a heavy cup. I want you to pardon me. It's in my protocol. I don't know when I speak it. Your Majesty, apology. The attack of Igala and the President, Kogi State Traditional Council of Chief Aga I am the son. I am just learning, and I believe you know what it is. I sincerely apologize for that oversight. To all the young men and women, and the elderly, who trunch our campaign and traverse the news and grains of our state to campaign for us, the hundreds of thousands of people from far and near, who voted or um, mobilize a little bit in our support, and those who did it otherwise. This government is for you all. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, despite the election storm that are threatening to set brothers and sisters against one another, we are here today because we have chosen unity over this unity, greatness, over petty grievances and peace over perilous acts of discrimination and one out dogmas of ethnic jingoism. The time has come to reaffirm our enduring spirit and our common will to move forward towards greater achievements. We must preserve the freedom of all our citizens who deserve a chance to pursue there are full measures of happiness and aspiration for any position in the state without fear of discrimination <coughs> on the basis of tribal or religious inclination. Kogi State cannot afford to revert back to the fractured psyche revealed with scars of ethnicity that violated the age-long values and the very fabric that bound our people together. As a people, we, we must remain faithful, faithful and true to the ideas and dreams of our founding fathers. The Kogi agenda has prevailed, and our state and people are better for it. Be assured that we shall deliver on our promises of a united, secure, progressive, and prosperous Kogi state. 
our, our approach, approach will be open, open. flat and, and rugged. rugged. But, but I, I am confident, confident that, that it will lead us eventually, eventually to progress and prosperity. This, this is the time for us to commence the process of achieving a charter of equity on power rotation in the state. state. Because it is now apparent that no single senatorial district in our dear state can go it alone without the cooperation and support of others who are co-equal in the political configuration of our dear state. Furthermore, our government shall be the ground running with people oriented and projects delivered with utmost focus on the well-being of our people and, and we shall, shall govern with transparency, probity, and accountability at all times. Our, our economy, economy shall witness a major improvement on the back of the solid foundation laid by, by, the, laid by the administration, the administration of, of my predecessor as we further open up our state to investors investor willing to collaborate with us under a robust public-private partnership framework. We are, we are going, going to, to make Kogi State an attractive investment destination for local and foreign investors. investors. As, As we, we grapple with challenges of the past, past we, we must, must reckon that, that it is indeed a new beginning, beginning. And, and we must therefore work together to stem the tide of greed and irresponsibility in whatever guise, shape, or form. form. We, must we must be prepared, prepared to make hard choices in our collective effort to back a new day in our state. The unity and cooperation of every one of us will greatly contribute to the peace and progress of our destiny. In this new era, more homes shall be built, more jobs will be created, businesses will be blossom, our farmland will thrive, our healthcare system will witness massive improvement in scale and efficiency. Our, our school will be filled, filled and our, our teachers, teachers will have more reason to smile on their way, way to the classroom. classroom. Our, our youth will find more avenue to build skills for innovation and, and creative enterprises, enterprises and, and welfare, welfare of our women, women shall be the, the utmost priority of this administration. Today, there, there are, are real challenges in the nation's economy, economy particularly, particularly as regards for foreign exchange. exchange unemployment and inflationary trends. trends. We, we must, must dig deep, deep and roll up our sleeves to confront these challenges in the real sector, sector as a subnational government, government ready to make a difference. difference. This, this will require us to look at no hanging fruit, fruit such, such as completing all the critical infrastructural projects of the immediate past administration that are there to the, to the well-being well of our people, people and by, by tapping, tapping into existing opportunity for partnership with the federal, federal government. This will focus more on our areas of comparative advantage, such as solid minerals and steel development, agriculture, marine and blue economy, tourism and creative economy, as well as information technology and digital economy, where our youth population with tremendous energy can be fully mobilized to become key players, players in the value chain. chain. As, As a, a government, we are extremely optimistic and, and we have very high ambition, ambition which, which may, may not be met easily or in a short span of time. time. But, but I, I want, want to, but, but let, let me assure you, you that, that with the guidance from, from God Almighty, support from, from our elders, the, the enterprise, enterprise of men and women, women who we serve, serve in this administration, administration and, and with the full cooperation of you all, all our expectations will be met. met. Our, our dream, dream will be made, made up of individuals with ambitions greater than, than what you have, you have seen, seen before now. now. Kogi State, State, which has been rated in the top, top 10 category, category under the by, by both local, local and international, international organizations, organization, as far as, far as growth, growth indicators, indicators are concerned, concerned we will perform, perform even better, better because, because the leadership will be more inventive, our workers will be more productive across sectors, and, and the productive capacity 
we remain undiminished under the new administration. It is always more tedious to prepare the land. It is energy sapping to cultivate the land. Let me let you know that the GYP has prepared the land, cultivated the land, planted the seed. It is our responsibility to water the seed into fruition and plant new ones for a bumper harvest. Kogi can only get better. We have, we have trained our mentality and we will up our determination to make Kogi State greater. greater. We, must we must all be prepared to begin from where the, the immediate, immediate past administration, administration stops. Allow, Allow me to be done to, to keep our communities safe and secure, help our young people find, find jobs, job, keep families in businesses, keep people in school, school and our, our teachers, teachers looking forward to the next school day. day. Connect, Connect our farmers to the market even as we sustain food sufficiency in, in all parts of the state, state. get to create the generation into partnership that work for our communities and, and help our pensioners, pensioners to live dignified and fulfilled lives. Life. Our, our determination, our administration, administration will be aggressive, deliberate, and strategic in making our business environment attractive. Kogi has all it takes to fulfill Nigeria's dream of becoming the industrial hub of the global south. We are one of the most endowed states in Nigeria with abundant mineral resources and many, many gifts of, of nature. nature. Kogi is where two of, of Africa's, Africa's biggest rivers, river, Nanja and, and Benue, form a conference. conference. The huge the water bodies, bodies can serve in the area of transportation, agriculture, agriculture and tourism. tourism. We have, we have all, all it takes, takes with the many rivers, rivers and dams in the state, state to produce food, to produce food all, all year round, round with an all season farming. We must, must produce what we eat, eat, eat what, what we produce, produce and produce what others eat. Aside, Aside the very valuable, valuable mineral resources, resources our, our state, state is blessed, blessed with, we have, we have no, no excuse, excuse not, not to be the food basket, basket of Africa, Africa with the robust agricultural platform, platform already, already put, put in place, place by, by my leader and predecessor, His Excellency Alahaji Abelu, C.O.M. I therefore call on the global investment community to see Kogi as a destination of choice. choice. Our, our environment, environment is safe for investment. investment. Our, our policies, policies are friendly. friendly. We, we, we protect, protect the investors and the interests of our people. people. Kogi is the place to be. be. For, the, for the past few years, years. We, have we have been working on how, how to launch our, our conference and our state on the world tourism map. map. In, In the next couple of months, months we are hopeful that the world will make Kogi their tourism destination of choice. As, as your governor, I will be at the forefront of our, our investment, investment drive, drive and, and we shall put, put in place a data investment platform to make every crocodile around the world our investment ambassador. It is economically imperative to build an economy that is better driven by the private sector. Fellow so guys, I promise to go on the fear of God Almighty, to be just, fair, and equitable in, in all my dealings with all, all men and women, irrespective of pride, religion, or political affiliation. It is a big challenge to take over from a hugely successful administration. Well, the GYP itself has prepared us mentally, administratively, and politically for the task ahead. I will not fail the people of Kogogi State. Our, Our government, government will be transparent, accountable, and we shall work honestly, hard work, work and, and courage, courage while, while promoting tolerance, loyalty, and fairness. And fairness. To the opposition political parties in this state, I invite you all to work with us to build an even greater state, state based on mutual respect and in the overall interest of our dear people. Fellow local guys, I, I promise you all, I will not be an ethnic governor, 
I will be the governor of Kogis State. Let, Let it be said, said by our, our children's children that, that once upon a time, time when, when our collective resolve to remain united and an individual state was tested, we refused to let this journey end, that, that we did not turn back nor did we falter, and, and with eyes fixed on the horizon, and by God's grace upon us, we carried forth that, that great gift of unity in, in our diversity, diversity to deliver a better future and the best of our days that are ahead to future generations of all Coco guys. My brothers and sisters, join me. My brothers and sisters, come, join hand with me as we hit the ground running to deliver Coco of our dream. At this point, your, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as a student of UID School of Thoughts, and in line with our mantra of continuity and consolidation, my administration is determined to hit the ground running even as I'm standing here before you. Hence, we do, we do not, not intend, intend to, to keep, keep the people of Congress State in doubt, doubt about, about the character of this administration as they are eagerly waiting to key into our policies and programs. Therefore, I will today grab the to work there. Honorable Fawo Kisi, Hadia Fatima Mama, Engineer Mohammed Yusuf, Honorable Timothy Ojoma, Honorable Sunday Mr. Abamika Tae, Honorable Aswaju Idris Achiu, Engineer Muhammad Ihiyalu Abu Mutali. In the same way, the following appointment takes immediate effect. The Secretary to Kogi State Government. Dr. Dr. Mrs. Folashade Ayoade Adeke, the Chief of Staff to the Governor, Alaji Ali Belelu, the Deputy Chief of Staff, the Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor in the Office of the Deputy Governor, Honorable Hirari Ojoma Egwada, the Head of Service, Elijah Evelenemi, the State Security Advisor, Commander Jerry Omanara Retire, the Special Advisor on Media to the Governor, Honorable Isa Ismail, the Director General Protocol, Honorable Suleiman Ibrahim, the Chief, Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Honorable Oladele John Nihi. The Director General, Government House, Alad Shahib Olucha. State Legal Advisor to the Governor, Barista Femi Adibuya. I appeal to the leadership of Kogi State House of Assembly to accord the nominees a serious consideration in your usual cooperation with the executive arm of the government. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to use this opportunity to profoundly appreciate our fathers, His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tenemu, and our other father, our leader, leader His Excellency Vice President Kashi Shetima GCON, the Chairman, the National Chairman of our Great Party, and other critical stakeholders of our party. For their unwavering commitments 
and struggle to see that Nigeria remain united. united. They have been trying to make sure we remain united because we are meant to understand by them that the governance is all about the people. I want to sincerely appreciate you. The presence of his Excellency, the Vice President alone here, is a big message. It's a message that has, has sunk into, into my system. system. It's a, a message, message that sends it clear to my mentality. It's a, a caution. caution. And, and as such, such I'm, I'm not going to take it for granted. granted. Your Excellency, sir, I want, I want to assure you, you that, that back, back in Abuja, Abuja you, should you should rest assured, assured that, that you have a grand here in, in Kogi State, State to deliver on the mandate to, to, to serve our people, people under, under the renewable, renewable agenda, agenda of, of Mr. Mr. President, President and administration, and by, by God's grace, we will be here, here to make, make you proud. proud. Lastly, Lastly, I want, I want to appreciate my mentor, mentor my, my leader, leader my, my benefactor, benefactor, the white lion of the universe, universe His, His Excellency, Allahadi Ayabelu. I want to appreciate him for training me mentally, for training me administratively, for training me politically. For, for passing, passing me, for, for allowing allow me to, to pass through, through the, the blast furnace. I want to appreciate him for laying a very, very solid foundation, foundation with, with a, a working template in Kogi State. State. Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, President, His Excellency has, has done a lot. lot. But, but upon all, all this, this, that, that does not qualify, qualify me to be a graduating student of his. In the next sense, your Excellency, you help me talk to him that I can be a student. I am not yet qualified to be a graduating student. I am just preparing to sit for a common entrance that will allow me to exist a primary level into a secondary level. And as such, Kogi State, State remain your baby. baby. Kogi State, State needs your attention, attention and, and care at all time. time. But, but I, I want, want to assure you, Sir Excellency, Vice President, Vice President His Excellency Ayala is very strong. strong. Don't, we should not worry about him. He said he's going to rest. rest. I said, I said a lie. lie. You are, you are not, not going, going to rest. rest. And let, and let me, me tell, tell you, when, when we came on board on, board, on the 27th January 2016, your Excellency, you gave, gave out your number, your number. you refused, you refused to, to change your contact up to now, you, you gave your number publicly. publicly. And, and as such, such we said we are, we are coming to consolidate and build your achievements. As, as a lawyer, lawyer student, student of yours, yours very, very committed. committed. I uh, wish, wish to ride on, on, on that trajectory, trajectory. But, but one thing is you know, know people, people are calling for my contacts, contacts. I'm, I'm giving my, my number with, alongside with your own, own. so that for, for you, you to know, know that Tokyo State is still in your baby. baby. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to sincerely appreciate you and to let you know that as his Excellency the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we are blinks. Yeah, the good, 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 then we are here to activate. Thank, Thank you, and God, God bless you. Your Excellency, please remain there to honor the immediate past governor. Your Excellency, the Central Guide, please step forward to collect the highest award in the land from the new governor. Of the, of the state. state. Please, Please join me, me as, as I welcome, welcome here His Excellency, Governor.
Yaya Adosa Bello. C-O-M. He will be honored. That's, That's your first, first assignment. assignment. Since you said you are not ready to graduate, graduate. Want, this, this is your first assignment. Oh, oh your lecturer. Thank God. God. Appreciating you for the service you have rendered to the good people of Kogi State. We want to appreciate you for placing Kogi State on the path of development. We want to appreciate you for expanding the chances of the youth and women of Kogi in an, an active, active politics. politics. This, this is an award, the highest award in this state. The, the entire state, state, state has ordered me on behalf of them and government, government of Kogo State, state to, to present this award to you in honor of your service, service to the state, state as the, the Grand Conference Silver Service Star. By the special grace of God, you will be honored with, with numerous of, of such awards, both at national and international level. We sincerely appreciate you for serving your state during the day. The warm handshake from the teacher to the students. Your Excellency, the new governor, the journey starts now. The countdown begins. The delivery of the dividends of democracy starts now. Your Excellency, congratulations to you. Kokise, congratulations.